What's up guys, this is Michael Mignona, and in this video I want to show you this A2P form that I created in order to get the information I need from my clients to fill out the A2P registration on high level in order to make sure that their texts continue working in their sub account and they're all you know approved for that and everything. And the, so what I did was, you know, I was, I was really just finding it really annoying, uh, trying to open up like a Google doc and copy and paste the stuff I needed and find it all when I needed it. And it just became cumbersome. I had to open, I had to remember which tabs I had open or remember which document I had everything in and remember what the verbiage was for everything. And I just needed a way to have it all in one spot. And so what I did was I built a form that the client can fill out or I can fill out with the client or have my assistant fill out with the client when I do their onboarding call. And then what it does is it generates an email to me and my assistant with everything in order that we have to copy and paste into the A2P registration thing in high level to get approved. And it works insanely well. Some of the verbiage in here, or a lot of it probably, is actually from Michael Lucy um, in the high-level community on Facebook. He's amazing. He helped me out by you know, ha walking through this with me. Not this particular um, form that I built, but what I need to put in each thing. He, he posted uh, you know, about it in the groups. Um, and basically, I just took the stuff from that and built this little system that makes it really, really easy. So I want to just demonstrate how it works. And then I created a snapshot where you can just imp you can just load this into your sub account or you, you know you, any you know your agency sub account and have this for your own company so that you can make the A two P process a billion times easier moving forward. So. I'm going to pretend I am, you know, just putting in a, a, a business here. So I'm just going to make up a business called Michael's, Michael's uh, Cleaning Company. And the email will be michael at bestcleaning.net. And the business website, bestcleaning.com. Uh, and then it says business contact page URL, go to the website and find the page, usually the contact page that has the contact form on it, copy and paste the URL for that page here. So, you know, if, so the, what's happening here is you're asking your client to just go to the page that has their contact page on it and copy and paste that URL. So let's pretend it was best cleaning.com slash contact. And what this is also going to do is it's going to generate in the email that is generated to me, it's going to generate um, instructions for what I need to email their webmaster so that that line of text, that 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 um, opt in uh, um, text about the fact that you might receive text messages and carrier fees may apply and all that. Uh, we could just ask the webmaster or a person who's running their website to just add that to the contact form very easily. And I'll have to remember what the email says. I don't have to retype it. It's just a copy and paste kind of thing. So business type, it's mostly going to be LLC, probably tax ID. We'll do some fake number there, um, USA and Canada, the street address for this. So we'll do four, four Larry Lane. I don't know what that means. Um, city. So you're seeing all this stuff you know, whatever, it doesn't really matter, right? Um, authorized rep full name. So this will be, so the authorized rep full name, this is, this is part of the authorization form that you have to fill out. I also have in the, in the thing that's generated, the authorized rep full name is the person that is going to be mentioned in the text message, like a sample text message to the to the lead or to the the contact who's opted in to receive text messages, it doesn't really matter whose name that is um, in, in the sample. It 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 so it I just use the authorized ref's full name because it just it was just easy. So let's say Larry um, Smith, and it's Larry at bestcleaning.net, and his job position is he's the VP, he's the GM. And his phone number is 443-099-1220, okay? 
And then when I hit submit, it says, oh, invalid phone number. There we go. Okay. Uh, I hit submit and it says, thank you for taking the time to complete this form. Now I want you, this is the really cool part, the email that's generated to me. So here's the A2, so here's the email that was generated to me with all of the information in it. Michael's cleaning company, uh, email, business website, contact page. This is really just so that you know what you need to tell the webmaster and, 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 and basically it generates that email down here. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, business type LLC, tax ID, business industry. Now I just default this to consumer because that kind of works for almost anything, but you'll put in the business industry that it really is. Um, the business regions of operations, the business address, uh, including their position and phone number. Now, this is the part that's like makes it so easy. So we can copy and paste the use case, uh, or this is not a, a copy and paste, this is a drop down in, in high level. The use case description, you'll just literally just copy this and paste it into the use case description field on the registration form. This is the message that's automatically generated. It's generic enough that it works for, it would work for basically any company. David, David it's, you know, so it calls out the name of the lead. Um, it says the name of the person from the company and then the name of the company. Those are, those are requirements. Thanks for opting in to receive blah, blah, blah. And then sample message number two, again, the name of the lead, the name of the person from the company, the company name, we're confirming your appointment, right? Um, contacts and users opt in. So how do end users consent to receive text messages? This is an important one as well. And that is, so you just copy and copy this whole thing and it's going to automatically include the link to the form for the real person who's going to be reviewing this information to go check to make sure that the verbiage on the form is abides by the a2p standards and all of that so it's this is the perfect thing here um opt-in keywords you just copy and paste that opt-in message thank you for contacting you may opt out at any time and then it says, remember to send an email to their webmaster with these instructions and CC the client and also michaelmcmuno.com. Now, it actually doesn't say um on the one that I'm providing to you as a snapshot. It's more generic. But basically, you'll just copy this and compose an email to their webmaster. And they'll know exactly what they need to do. And what they need to do is they need to add... By clicking submit, you agree to receive email, text, and or voice updates. Carrier fees may apply to the form on this page. And it makes filling out the A2P stuff so easy. It puts it all in one beautiful email with all of the stuff you just have to copy and paste. And what I did was I created a snapshot that just has this A2P stuff with all of the custom fields already loaded in and everything, including the automation and, and everything. So all you have to do is... Um, so this is the A2P, um, sub account and you'll see the automation is this. So it's just the a form was submitted. It's particularly the A2P form that I created. It sends an email to, so what you'll do is you'll just put your email in there. So, or you could just do it by user type, particular user and choose the user that should get it new A2P form submitted. And then it says the name of the business there. And then all of the information that needs to be sent. And so that's the automation. And then the form itself, you know, you can, you can see it here. Um, and you know, all of the custom fields, these are a bunch of custom fields that I did for it and everything. So some of them are actually defunct. Um, I kind of made this form once and then made it better. So there may be some custom fields that are superfluous, but it doesn't really matter. Um, the ones that are there are there and they work and, um, so basically you could just load this snapshot into your agency and have a really, really easy way to get the information you need for the A2P stuff and make it really easy for your assistant or yourself or whoever to just submit that registration uh, to get it approved. And uh, it makes the whole thing just a billion times easier. So I hope this helps. And, um, you know, uh, if you want to do anything for me in, in, in return, um, I'll leave a link in this post to my YouTube channel. I'm really trying to grow that. 
Um, I do a lot of work for roofing contractors, but I'm really trying to help social media marketing agencies, you know, beginning young guys usually who are looking to get into the contractor niche. I really feel like I can do so much to help them. Um, I'd love to help them achieve the things I've achieved in my life by running an SMMA. Um, I'm going to, you know, be offering courses and just free coaching. And um, you can watch some of the videos on my channel to see kind of what I do. But anyway, that would be that would mean the world to me if you would do that for me at the very least. That would be, or the, even at the most. That that's all I would I would ask in return for this little thing that I built that might help you guys. And uh, anyway, that's all I've got right now. I hope you have a great uh, day, and I'll see you guys on the interwebs. See ya.